For my face cup, I want to enhance some of the texture, so I'm going to get a little stain on there, and I want it to be real light. So I'm going to go with about maybe three parts water to one part underglaze, because I just want a real subtle effect. And I'll get a thicker brush here and apply this wash all over real evenly. Keep it moving. You don't want to stop and let those drips dry because then they'll become uneven marks. Now I'll let that dry. Now that stain has brought out some of the details in there, it's still kind of light. And I'm going to now scrape off the areas that I want to be a lighter color. If I had white underglaze, I could just use that instead. But I'm just going to work with what I have and show you guys how to work with the resources that you have. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to paint the gums red. Now, just to get another color, I'll take a little bit of the red and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of blue. And then I'll add a little water. So it's kind of washy. So in this case, I'm not going for a super opaque look. Okay, now I'll scrape off the teeth and make them white. And then I'll do the whites of the eye. Even if your clay isn't a white or off-white colored clay, it'll still be kind of light. Should be lighter than the stain at least. Now I'm going to paint the pupils black and that's where my little tiny brush comes in handy. Now I'm going to paint the irises blue. I could leave them the way they are but it'll make them pop a little bit more if they're blue. Got to be careful because that black's not dry yet and I don't want to mix it into my blue. It can be nice to mix a little bit of white or something with that blue just to give it more contrast with the pupils. But once the underglaze dries, you might see a little more contrast. Now I could do a little scraffito on the irises.
So I could just leave it like this, but I figure since I'm going to put the clear glaze on it, I think it would look a lot cooler if I painted the inside. So I'm going to very carefully paint that inside, being careful not to spill any underglaze on this lovely outside that I've worked so hard on. It's nice to use a big brush so you can get a lot of area covered at once doing it real evenly and efficiently and you want to be super careful about that rim and I want to paint it carefully all the way to the edge here you can use a smaller brush to do some touch up if you see any spots that are not covered then I'll let this dry and do another coat because you need two coats for it to be fully opaque I can paint the handle as well, or not. I think it looks fine the way it is. That's pretty dry, so I'll add the next coat. Be real careful with that rim, even on the second coat. Once you're done with your cups, be really careful with them. You can wrap them up with some paper or some other soft material, put them in a box, get ready to bring them to school. When you do, I will bisque fire them and then I'll put a clear glaze on them.